What is going on everybody? This is Slick from Breaking the Clutch back after a long hiatus. You might not have noticed my disappearance, but I have been in Europe for the last month and I have also been gifted with this excellent Serena DLC release here just as I return back to the United States of America. So today's build order showcase will actually be the Serena Ice Trooper Bison play that you've seen a lot of players use and videos on YouTube about. I have not seen any build that directly matches my style of play. I prefer to get a mini base and double pump Ice Troopers. Uh, and you will see exactly how. I have not seen any other players, actually even ones, twos, and threes I've been playing against, don't do it like this. So I'm kind of happy that, uh, you know, my little uniqueness is going to be shared with you guys directly. So anyway, there are a couple different variations of Serena's play. I love her because she's so versatile. I've seen guys, there's a couple OP strats in the mix that are even more crazy than this. And we'll get to those later in the week, but for now we're just going to be sticking with this basic utility build, as I like to call it. Utility being it's basically good for a starting play. Of course you will have to adjust generator first, and then you immediately send your marines out to grab some supplies. Pretty standard issue stuff here. And then your first leader power is actually going to be Ice Barrier. I prefer Ice Barrier. Uh, over cryogenic detonator there because ice barrier does it, it's a little more versatile as well You can play it say in any situation and you can decide where the power goes uh, Generator here. We're gonna upgrade it as soon as it's complete just like that at around 23 seconds And just keep a close eye on your Marines here as they're grabbing these supplies because you need to make sure you're getting more and more supply As the game goes on of course there we go already off the bat. We're gonna grab another supply crate now, the concept behind this is that you go Armory 4th. Of course, like I said, you've seen this on YouTube a couple times if you're an avid Halo Wars fan. Uh, so just stick to that basic concept. This is extremely basic. Uh, like I said, this is this is some easy science. A lot of you learned as soon as the hero meta started coming into fruition. Uh, you'd see a very... A lot of builds are very similar to this style of play where you go Armory 4th there. So the concept behind Armory 4th is that you're actually able to queue up the Bison and his upgrade before uh, be before the Bison rolls out. So that's something that's very, very essential to the situation is that by the time you really need it, the upgrade is there. So that way you can station the Bison and then do some serious damage with those freezing uh, with the freezing abilities. The second concept behind this, of course, is Cryotech Advancements. Uh, did I say the right? Cryotech Advances? Because, of course, they do a shit ton of damage to any unit. Barracks 5th here. Armory's up. Look at that. Bison's already to go. And all we need is 300 power to do Cryo Burst. I'm actually going to throw it on a mini base the second that I start my Bison as well. And constantly micro my Marines to grab some more supplies and power crates, just like this. Now, of course, I am doing this live, guys, because I feel that doing it live is the best way to do it. Fuck it, we're doing it live, if you will. Um, and the reason we're also throwing on the mini base here is because we can decide at around the two-minute mark what we want to do in terms of units. Do we want to run into, say, uh, more frequented... Um Let's see, what am I trying to say here? If I want to do snipers, if I want to do, say, another supply pad here to keep the power rolling, whatever I want to do. Of course, in between that as well, I did start a marine here, as you saw, because my supply was getting to a good point. And now I'm going to start pumping out cryo troopers after throwing down this barracks here on my mini base. So another thing you're going to want to do as well is send all of your units here to the first power node in front of your base. Man, I love that new ping on the map, man. It looks so good. And what we're going to do is start grabbing the power nodes. Of course, with this bison, man, bisons can shoot in the air and freeze all these sentinels. It is so, so, so good. And I love to see your early game, especially with taking out these nodes. It's super easy. You know, I feel better for the Arbiter and... Uh, Arbiter and uh, why can't I think what the hell it is? Honor Guard as well, because, you know, they just... They're all the melee units that you have for the Banished just can't do this early game. You need to have an actual sizable grunt force. So, Cryotech advances here is started immediately and we're actually going to start grabbing power nodes. I recommend that you use uh, ice troopers to grab these power nodes simply because ice troopers cannot shoot sentinels in the air. Of course you're going to be seeing a huge stack of power right now as I start to grab more nodes across the map. Um, so just pay attention to why I'm doing that. Generally speaking, I save up all my power so that way I can easily go into tech 2 or get snipers out depending on the adversary at hand. Of course, you can also start going directly into Marine Grenade to deal with scouts. That's generally speaking what I do. Of course, you can just see my Hellbringer here. Ice Trooper, sorry. Start grabbing that. What do we got here? Oops, some Marines here rolling out the bat. So I'm going to slowly creep across the map here. See, at 322, I'm already sitting here. What is that? That's oh, 40 supply, just about, or 40 population. And look at this. We're actually going to start dealing with this. And just the cryo, uh, cryogenic advancement there is just so, so helpful. Because look at these units, they're just freeze to death immediately. Look at that, even this ghost right here, I'm just going to just keep my my ice troopers kind of skirting them around them to freeze them up, make them a little slower. And then I'm going to make sure, there we go, yep, I'm starting to cap that as well. Alright, so, uh, once again, so uh, just assuming the starting comp here, of course when the power nodes are capped as well, you get this huge icy area of effect, which is just so incredibly helpful. Especially uh, for vision, um, as well as, say, just being damn annoying. 
At around 4 minutes, I'm going to start pushing up with my entire army to the enemy base. I'm sitting at around 500 power. It's going to stay that way for a while. Look at that, man. You can't cap that, bro. You're frozen. Of course, look at this. Just These units here are just so, so helpful. Of course, as well, as soon as that armory is done, you should really sack and go into supply pad. I definitely missed that opportunity there. But what I'm going to do here is just bring all of my units here to the back. Make sure that you keep all of your Hellbringers, I'm sorry, Ice Troopers, god damn it, how many times am I going to choke that? Bring all of your Ice Troopers on top of the turrets to freeze them immediately, and you're actually going to hit the Y button on the Bison to immediately station here and just start wrecking absolute havoc. Of course, with these Hellbringers on top of these turrets, it's going to freeze them so damn quick that you won't even have to worry about dealing with them. Of course, here I'm also going to tech up to tech 2. What is this, around 4 minutes, uh, 4 minutes and 45 seconds, and I'm just going to start pumping out some Marines as well. Of course, sometimes that Tech 2 will be delayed simply because you will have to, uh, say, opt into snipers or go into Marine Grenade. Whatever the situation calls for, that's what you have to deal with. So, with all this freezing going on here, you have the ability to get Seismic Blast at a reasonable time and do some serious damage to not only buildings but also the base. See, with all these Hellbringers just kind of stacked up here, I'm just going to move them around and make sure they sit on top of the base and just freeze everything. Especially with production buildings, like I said, these turrets are just going to be this constantly just getting wrecked by these units. Just look at this. This guy literally could not do anything. Even, say, good players could not make units. It doesn't matter. The buildings are frozen. You can't do anything at all. Look at that. Turrets getting melted. These Hellbringers just going to keep getting stacked on top of all these units here. Look at this. It, this even though we are playing against a normal AI, nobody could do anything about this unless they had a compatible force here. Of course, we're going to get Seismic Blast here and drop it immediately. God damn it, I missed the opportunity to drop it there. Typical. But all you got to do is drop it on some frozen buildings and it will do some serious amount of damage. See, every single time that they freeze and then explode after that as well. I'm going to make more units just to show you what's happening. Look how much damage that the base gets and all the buildings get. Look, everything's dead now. I'm just going to keep getting all of my Hellbringers right inside with the base, and look, it drops that quick. So anyway, guys, this is the basic Ice Trooper Bison opener that you're seeing a lot. Of course, with a second barracks, it is extremely, extremely better than any other methodology. Of course, there are a couple other Bison opener plays that we will be releasing this week to show you guys what Serena is capable. She is definitely one of the best leaders that I've seen drop. I'm very excited about her cryo and freeze powers. And I love the different builds that you can pull off with her. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Slick from Breaking the Clutch. I hope you enjoyed that footage. Of course, like I said, with Seismic Blast as well, not only should you just use it on a base, but, you know, use it on any starting army. Of course, if you don't suck like me, you can do a serious amount of damage by dropping it simply. Look at this here. I'm just going to push up on this base and just get all my units surrounding it. Look how fast these units will freeze up here. Seismic Blast also upgraded once is damn good. Cryo Bomb also is damn good. Glacial Storm, all these abilities are so effective for what you want to do with this unit, and that's just freeze and be damn annoying. Of course, keep, make sure you keep spreading out your Hellbringers to make sure they're close to the buildings at hand as well, so their AoE here does freeze these buildings. And of course, just keep stationing your Bison whenever you get into a certain area. Having that little area effect freeze is definitely, definitely helpful, especially for, say, if a supporting army comes up behind you you're able to just deal with the problem very quickly. Look at that. Every single time that the base does shatter here, it does do a stupid large amount of damage to them. See that right there? There it goes. And it drops. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you have any tweaks to this build order, please put it in the comment section below. A lot of you guys roast me for not testing these builds. I've tested this one a couple times, so I apologize that I didn't release it yesterday. However, guys, uh, any comments that you have supporting this build do help any other people who are watching and want to know how to do it a little bit better. So just make sure that you do assist people in that. Uh, some of you guys might have questions on, say, what to go after the, uh, the initial push. My suggestion to you is honestly to do, obviously, a direct counter to whatever, but honestly, Warthog Goss has been extremely successful for me. Hornets have been extremely su successful for me, and uh, also I I've also been opting into just a Sniper Cyclops. So honestly, whatever the hell is the best situation against the army composition that you are playing against. So have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys next time.